give me a second. so tired. I am abs absolutely it's just <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so tired. Oh my I, I was gonna I was actually literally gonna go to bed and then I you know what? You know what? What's that thing that I used to do? Oh that twitch. I, maybe I should do one of those. So here I am. Um, I thought um, I'd brush up on my cold waters to be honest. Made a cold water. Well, in a few weeks, I, oh, you, you won't recognise it. Um, no, I haven't played cold water. I, I will eventually get cold. sorting stuff. Well, because why sort stuff out before you start streaming? It, it adds. It makes me. It makes me feel. It's. It's better. It's better. Like words. Who needs? How are you? <laughs> <clears throat> See what's... There we go. Right. Perfect. Kill the music. Boom. There we go. Oh, stretch back in me chat. I've got a dead, oh, I've got a dead yeah. ass. Yeah. Balfir, top donator over here. Torpedo me. You top? Are you? Top to top donator. Oh uh, yeah, you probably are to be. Seven months as well. Fuck. Perhaps seven months and still no emotes. Going strong. Right, uh, cool. Music's way too loud. Duly noted. I shall turn it down. Oh, yeah. And uh, Luke Shadow Rider, thank you for all your hard work. I'll let you know when, so I'll let you know when I see some. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay, yeah, so um, I've got a dead bum because I fell on my ass today while uh, walking down a flight of stairs. I may have... Miss, in my in my in my psyche, in my subconscious, I counted an extra step, and it was a long fall, uh, to uh, to like the the the, the meter between my oh, ass and the ground, yeah. and uh, I caught it right on the corner of a step. I'm now broken. I'm a broken man, both in in form and dignity. Um, yeah, so not great. Um. But apart from that, um, uh, my mind remained mostly intact after um, not streaming for like a week uh, and then some. It's actually been like closer to two weeks with the occasional divinity coin thrown into the bath. Um, so yeah, I need to get back into it. I'm, I'm a little bit sort of, I'm not very well versed in uh, the whole live streaming. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been gone for a week and I've forgotten how to do it. Not that that's any different uh, than than the usual. Keep the change, you filthy <clears throat> animal. Honestly, sort the emotes, mate. <laughs> Even Edna sounded like a fucking concern then. Holy shit! Yeah, fuck it. Well, at the minute we're waiting for a uh, boo boo uh, dingo to because she's had a lot of uh, work commissioned um, over the last month, um, and I I, I want to get some artwork commissioned with her. So. Uh, the bottleneck is is uh, is officially. Oh Boo -boo yeah. Vissy, Vissy, thank you very much. Lots of familiar faces in chat. How long can I keep talking for before we actually load up a game? That's the, uh, that's the. <clears throat> yes. Anyway, um, cold waters. I don't have any mods installed. Like none. Wh what do we think we should do? Should we? Um. Uh, I'm probably going to install just quickly. You know, <laughs> just quickly get it done. Um, the uh, the water the water mod the mod that makes the water more difficult to see in I think that added quite a lot to the gameplay experience. It's amazing how difficult the game becomes just by not being able to see when a torpedo is right up your right up your ass, as it were. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, I think we'll probably install that mod. Are you saying she? Uh, long live Quebec. Are you saying she did Womble's Divinity art faster than your emotes? And we've been waiting for a couple of months now. 
Um, no. Where, <laughs> there's a I, I, I have a confession. Um, when I said like months ago that um I'd <laughs> I'd commission Bubu, oh, I was thinking yeah. of commissioning um you and I'm, I'm butchering her name as well. Um, if anything, I I wouldn't even I I, I wouldn't even be mad <laughs> if it was me. Anyway. Moving on, um, we're gonna. Uh, I think we're gonna install that visibility mod. Uh, so let's see how we uh, how we're getting on. I hope everyone's doing well. Everyone's had good days. I ah oh, oh don't like I've I've oh, I just oh, what a day. I feel like um what's his name Alex Jones like oh, God. like tin foil hat. Um, I don't know. I think that's just a good persona. To uh, to uh, should we should we move the mic a bit? There we go. Isn't that, that's better, isn't it? Um, yeah. So today, um, uh, what a what a treat. Um, there was this. I, I'm for anyone that doesn't know, I work in an optician's. Uh, I'm installing the mod in the background, by the way. We will eventually get to the game. Um, but I work in an optician's. I work uh, particularly in customer service. Um, now, uh, in an optician's, yeah, there's a there's it, it, it's it's something that does need customer service. In that, um. If you have a problem with your glasses, obviously you need to bring them back to some sort of department and we need to go, oh yes, it's this or that, or or maybe it's just you. Um, <clears throat> in any case, um, I'm, I'm very pro doing the, like, uh, not doing the right thing, but following procedure. I'm not somebody that, you know, I, I go to bed with a book every night and, I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not one of these people, but, you know... If there's a procedure for it, chances are the procedure exists for a reason, uh, generally to make sure that something happens in a certain way as not to cause a headache for everyone else. Now, in some cases, these procedures can be really long-winded and uh, and uh, not not followed to the tightest, uh, you know, bending the rules, as uh, as 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 you'd say. Um, but. Uh, today uh, there was a customer that come in, and there was uh, there's something called the store to store store pro there words store to store protocol, and um, the idea is that you, a customer can come in and you go to you know it doesn't matter because again uh, Spec Savers is a franchise company. Some people, a lot of people, a lot of people don't know that. Um, if you walk into um, one Spec Savers store, there is really not a hundred percent obligation for the uh, if it, for another store to help you out because you have. Um, in no way influenced that particular store's finance. It's like if McDonald's is a franchise company, if I go into uh, one store uh, and then buy a Big Mac and then go to another store and say, I have a problem with this Big Mac, they won't do anything about it. So they, it didn't come from their shop. That's the whole problem with franchising. There are, there are lots of benefits for franchising, but um, that's one of the problems. Now, when you go to a franchise... There are certain things that are controlled by the director of the business. Um, so uh, your store manager or your store director will uh, ha have a run on most of the things. They'll be in charge of pretty much everything. Um, oh, sorry, visibility. Uh, visibility mod. Sorry, do you want? I'm going to put my hood down as well. Absolute yob. Um, yeah, uh, so there's, there are certain things that you, um, a director can do and certain things a director can't and um, like for example um if if for example a mcdonald's chain decided to go or one an individual store go i don't i don't like the quarter pounder and cheese i'm not going to to do that anymore uh, mr mcdonald's would come down there with a crowbar and about 20 goons and sort the guy out um and, and that's the same for uh, spec savers and there are there are certain things that you cannot that you just have to follow and one of them is this store-to-store -store protocol, in which if, if someone from a different store comes in with a problem, we have to sort it out. But the problem is, is that a lot of people seem to think, or at least maybe it's something just to do with my shop or whatever, that it basically means that, oh, well, yes, I suppose we should, but in reality, we don't really do it. And it's like, not how it works. Not how it works. Like, it's just, oh, God, it just drives me round the... um. <laughs> round the twist um so yeah it, it's it, oh god yeah just a fast today with a colleague um who just absolute just stupid just she basically i, I took it oh god no sorry i'm getting i'm getting triggered just thinking about it we're gonna move on we're gonna move on before i, I get too upset
I just I can't stand it when like fucking members of staff can't be asked to, and and, and anybody might have this in their job that members of staff can't be asked to do the job that they're hired to do. It's like for the love of God, please. It's uh, you are literally hired to do this one thing. Can you please, please do it? Do you know what I mean? It's not. I'm not asking for much. I'm just asking for the terms of your contract to be fulfilled. That's all I want. That's all you need. That's all I need. That's all I need you to do. Literally, the thing you are hired to do, can you do it? Oh. <laughs> can you tell? It's, it's, um, I'm a bit angsty about it. Anyway, how are you? <laughs> Vent stream. Anyway, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's just uh, fun. I just. <sighs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, anyway, we're going to get back to the, what, what we actually came here to do. Uh, cold waters. It's literally me just flapping my gums at this point. Uh, Steam games, Steam apps. Uh, oh, Cold Waters? Yes, <laughs> I forgot what game you're playing. Streaming assets, default environment. Ah, here it is. Replace all files. There it is. Perfect. Right now, in theory, if I load this game here, then it would work. And again. This is all hypothetical. It's all part of the thesis um, that I'm writing called Joe Can't Stream. Um, it's, uh, oh, no, I don't want crossfire compatibility. Uh, cool. So we'll go with that. We'll, we'll, we'll load the game, controversial, I know, um, and then we'll see what's, uh, what's going on. Okay, that's potential, potentially working. Coldwaters.exe. We need to also put the browser source on as well. That exists. Browser source. Lovely. Yes. Yes. And that looks to have worked. Perfect. Cool. Right. Yeah. Cold waters. I. I think I'm. I don't know. I think I'm going to be terrible at this. Um. Well, worse than I was. It's also probably way too loud. Help. That's too quiet. Two voices. Is that is that too quiet? <laughs> My ears. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, well, I know why because it's a new computer. But all of my audio settings are like shagged. Like, look how much like, like the difference in travel. Like, that's that. That's that. I never. That's nothing. Like, uh, it's just upset. Very upset. And that's the most annoying thing about having a new computer is setting everything up again. Like, you get it just where you like it. You get it where it's comfortable every time. And now it's all its all up in the air. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, music in combat, we'll have that. Right. That'll do. <laughs> I don't think you've played Bomber Crew since you got me killed when I went to sleep. I appreciate this. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I do need to play some more Bomber Crew, to be honest. I was... Uh, no reason why I haven't played it, to be fair. I've, I've been meaning to. Um, I just haven't got round to it in so many words. Cool. Is the, uh, is the music in Wombat? Yes. Um, right. Is that about right? Is that okay? We've got to go through all of the, the baby steps, the teething of, of streaming before we uh, crack on with this. Is, that, is, that the, is the audio okay? Are we all right? Um, I'll have you uh, a couple of you divinity, you know, fans, you know, the people who really like the divinity stuff um, that we have saved um, the build. Like uh, we've, we've, we're try I've tried, I've found a decent bow um, just by um, basically just fast traveling backwards and forwards from the traders until the stock refreshed, um, and it's uh, it's very good, it's decent, um, and I've built for a a, a very. A, Good. Well, I get. <laughs> I, I'm going to say good because the last time I I tested the dagger build um, that we used yesterday, and that was good. Air quotes in training. Um, and then in reality, it was fucking useless. So we'll see how we'll see how good the other uh, the, the other uh, build is with the arrows. But from what I've seen, it's rather promising. Anyway, we're going to play a campaign. How long is that? That's 18 minutes and still no gameplay. Beautiful. Right, uh, I'm not entirely sure what campaign I, I want. Well, obviously I'm going to be. We're also Thomas Chesterson as well. 
Fuck it, we'll go with it. Um, and we need to choose a submarine for our 1984 campaign. What are we thinking in terms of uh, submarines? Uh, what do we think we should uh, play with? I'm not entirely sure. We could go for a Los Angeles. We've also so a Los anyway. The, the, some people aren't familiar with cold waters. Let me help you out. Um, we've got the Los Angeles class submarine again. Cold waters, a, a cold war. <laughs> Play on the. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, the Cold War uh, uh, nuclear attack submarines uh, for the NATO side, the U.S. Navy uh, primarily. Um, and the idea is that you've got to fight off the Russians. You're the little submarine that could. And um, yeah, basically, we've got a few choices of nuclear attack sub from that era. The most modern we have access to is the Los Angeles class nuclear attack submarine. Very capable bit of kit here. Um, we've also got choices between the Narwhal, which is quiet, the Sturgeon, which is the the bread and butter all rounder, smiles, yep, excellent submarine. Uh, we've also got the Permit, which is a teensy wit, uh, so teensy weensy bit outdated, and then we've got you know Grandpa Joe, the fossil of a skipjack submarine. Although it does have its perks, while being a very old submarine and having quite an outdated sonar suite and fire control system um, it does in fact have a very uh, maneuverable uh, setup it's quite a short submarine and it's got really big uh, it's got a really big rudder and really big fins on it and it basically means it can turn on a dime it's also incredibly fast considering uh, uh, the area it was made in so um, <laughs> we'll see we'll see what's going on so <clears throat> Let's see, what are we doing then? What did people want to do? A couple for Skipjack, we got a few for Narwhal. Let's zoom in. It's lots for Narwhal. And then lots for Skipjack. Uh. Just leaving this here before I head to bed. Um. Sorry, it looks like it's because we don't have the MD thing active, so there's no save file. I guess we'll just wait until the guys finally responded. Cool. Sorry, um, I'm running a, an anti Stasi armor server. Um, that means nothing to anybody who doesn't know what armor is, um, but it's quite difficult to actually work. It's there's, there's this one bottleneck in which we can't upload DLLs to the FTP server. Again, I've totally lost non tech savvy people. Um, and we're basically we're trying to get in contact with the guy that owns the FTP like server um, before it gets all allocated off to the people that want to host on it. And it's uh, it's proving to be a pain in the ass. His name's Lee, and apparently he's like incredibly he's the world's most elusive man. There are intelligence agencies around the world that do not know where Lee is at this current time. And uh, and and uh, yeah, it's it's proving to be very annoying. So we'll uh, we'll see. We'll wait for Lee. And uh, then hopefully we'll have some uh, some armor three that I can piss around and show you, because um, I do do like armor three. Uh, anyway, I think we're going to go with um, I think we're going to go with a skipjack class to be honest. And I know that's controversial amongst the the, the stream the stream folk. In fact, actually no, the narwhal. Actually, oh, now that I scroll down, yeah. scroll, scroll, Now that I scroll down, um, yes, it looks like the the narwhal. Um, yeah, look, okay, no, narwhal wins. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realise how many narwhals we had uh, in the uh, in the chat there. The, the jive turkey class. I do like the jive turkey class. Very, very nice. Cool. Uh, what happens when you try to upload DLLs? Nothing. Nothing happens. The server just refuses it. There's this uh, error code that it throws out and it says, No, not for you. So, yeah, the, uh, trouble. Trouble with that. Anyway, um, that's uh, my while hosting woes. Anyway, uh, effective immediately, you are hereby assigned commander of Narwhal class submarine USS Narwhal SSN671. We're going to get our narrator's voice on today. Um, I don't know. I feel I, I feel like the com it's the coming of an age. I'm going to read the newspaper articles just to set the scene for people. So, world news. Uh, the, the, it's basically, for anybody that doesn't know, it's a theoretical uh, World War III um, between uh, the Soviet Union and NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, um, primarily uh, funded by the United States. Um, and these newspaper clippings set the scene. So I'll, I'll read you in 
uh, for the most part. So what will uh, Reaganism mean for US foreign relations? Um, new president-elect Ronald Reagan has begun his term in office by taking a harsh stance against the Soviet Union. The former Californian governor, once a Democrat, is reputed for his anti-communist stance and for rooting out communist sympathizers oh, in Hollywood yeah. during the 1950s. One arm God, thank you very much, mate. Um, the new US president is regarded with suspicion in the Kremlin. Um, polit polit there's going to be lots of words I don't know. I'm not a good narrator, but I... I mm. Uh, sources <laughs> claim that President Reagan is uh, regarded somehow as somewhat of a cowboy whose presidency risks spurring controversy and conflict instead of a continuation of more dent-oriented politics of Jimmy Carter. So bad. Right, uh, okay. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Who is that? Luke Shadow The top Rider. donator will be mine. Well, fine, that's it. We're going to skip through all of that then. I'll retire tomorrow. Why not? Sure. <laughs> Look, fuck it. That's it. Yeah, I'll just... Thanks for watching, folks. <laughs> Why... <clears throat> okay, thank you. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bear Stalin's um, Bear Stalin's got got the writer. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to say I don't think it's. I was going to say I think we will forget that happened, but I think that's unfair. I don't think we should forget that happened. I think I don't think anyone should forget that happened. I don't think anyone. I don't think anyone should forget that that happened. Um, least of all the person who sent it. Yeah, Luke. What the, f what the fuck, Luke? Sure, why not? I mean, I wish I had 150 quid to fucking throw. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Anyway, cold waters. Anyone? Anyone for cold waters? No. We're we just here to just throw fucking piss money into the sea. <laughs> okay. Right. Tactical situation. Here we go. Uh, 27th of. Is it too loud still? I feel like it might be too loud. Let me. Shit. Um, there we go. That sounds a bit better. Tactical situation. Uh, this is the 27th of November, 1984. It's six o'clock in the evening. Uh, intelligence has changed, you filthy animal. Do you fucking mind? Honestly, though. Okay. Thank, thank you very, thank you very much. He's uh, he is fighting for his top spot. Um, Thal <sighs> fucking hell. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I. Mm. Okay. Uh, mm, okay. Uh, right. Uh, inte mm. Yes. Intelligence indicate. Uh, read it yourself. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, enemy. Okay. Diesel electric. So I can't read anything. Can Ow. Um. I would say it's going somewhat to pieces. The gist of it is, we'll take a moment. Give us out to ten. Um. That there are some diesel electric submarines heading for the North Sea. It is vital that they are destroyed before attacking shipping and naval task forces in the area. I'm tapping my screwdriver on the desk. This force is believed to include one or more. Keep the change, you filthy animal. I very don't mind, though. Stop, please. You forgot. You are. Don't. Don't need to. Give your family. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? It's too much. It's too much. It's too. It's too much. What the fuck? That's too. Who? Who gives two hundred quid to a random stranger? <laughs> and for. Oh. I had, did my mama never teach you? Did I? <laughs> I don't. What the hell? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to leave the screwdriver over there because I'm going to throw it off everything if I don't. I'm going to hide you over there. And we're going to try and ignore. For the sake of the VOD watchers, we're going to try, just so that they have some content to sink themselves into. Mark the time. 
28 minutes and 34 seconds into the stream, Joe goes, you know what, we're going to play the game. We're going to play some Cold Waters. And we're going to we're gonna stop all this community crap. We're going to just get a good video going. How's that? Anyway, diesel electric subs. Did you did you know? Diesel electric submarines, North Sea. Got to, got to stop them. At least one cruise missile submarine. Let's see how we do. So, the North Sea. Uh, let's cast off. I'm not going to bother re-outfitting the submarine. I think I've got two decoys, 16 MOSSs, and eight UGMs. I don't play this game very often at all, uh, as I'm sure you can tell. To the North Sea. So they're trying to go down here. That means they'll more than likely skirt the Norwegian coast here. So we'll... Uh, just tiptoe at patrol speed, which is 10 knots. Hopefully our uh, MAPs, Maritime Air Patrols, will detect the uh, submarines as they come past Andoya there, as well as the SOSUS line, which is a series of uh, acoustic buoys. Uh, here we go. Keep the change, you filthy animal. The I want in on this, haha. <laughs> Edna depressed. <laughs> With the okay, one arm god. Thank you very much. <laughs> sure, why not? Fuck it. Anyone else? There's anyone else want in on this? It's a high stakes Texas Hold'em game. It's basically, it's just going to keep going until the other. Stop. <laughs> Have some bits. And, uh, and, uh, uh Mixy as well. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> free, free real estate. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Cold waters. Ignore it. Don't don't encourage them. Look away. Look away. Look away. I now feel tired. It's all, it's all, all welcome. Little, little me. I, I do feel little at this point. <laughs> A very appropriate username, considering that... When does it end? When does it end? <laughs> There's no end in sight. <laughs> Keep the change, you filthy animal. 420. Games are banned on Twitch now. I'm sorry, but not really. <laughs> Last time I started a donation war, got a new chair. Ferrari or Lamborghini? Um, I'm not a big fan of pasta. Uh, right, okay, anyway. Um... <laughs> Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Look away. Away from the screen. I can't even see it. Turn the second monitor off. I'm just going to... No, I'm going to turn it back on. I need to see stream chat. And just cover that up. I'm going to put a photograph there. There we go. Right. Can't see that. We're going to carry on. Stop. Show me your bitties. Oh, God. Right. Okay. Um. <sighs> Shall we just close, Colt? Anyone? Should we just close it? I mean, <laughs> Captain. <sighs> okay, uh, so it's the 29th of November, 1984. We're going we're gonna to get through it. We're going to... We get through one game. I cut some bits. Please don't. Um, 29th of November, 1984. 12 hours... 1200 hours even. So it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, Captain, we have a new sonar contact bearing 198, designated as Sierra 1. EXO reports that our depth is 150 feet, heading 136... Speed is one zero knots. Local conditions are scattered with a moderate breeze, and there is no surface duct or thermal layer. All hands man battleship stations and uh, rig ship for siren running. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Nick Con sonar new contact bearing one three four. Designate sonar, Sierra one. I've I've just become <laughs> I've become a voice stripper. I, so I don't know. Do I have to? In order to become a voice stripper, you need to eat really hot food. Con sonar Sierra two is cavitating. Sierra two is cavitating. Oh my god, we're actually like changing depth. Why are we changing depth? I don't know. I must have tapped something. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's all it's all at hand. 
It's all at hand. Look dirty to us. I don't know. Clean your... <laughs> right, okay. Anyway, uh, right. Uh, let's go um, Sierra 1. Let's start servicing these targets or identifying who they are. Um, we're running at uh, 5 knots, silent running. Total water depth is 300 feet. That's very low. Duke Shadow Rider again. Thinking his sub with all the money. Yes, we're going to need ballast. <laughs> right, okay. So we are really not in that much water at all. You can see just how shallow the water is that we're in. Um, so we're going to need to identify these submarines to figure out exactly what's going on. Now, Sierra 2 is being quite noisy. We've already got a decent solution of 84%. So let us... Oh, before we do anything. We're putting it up to realistic. Putting that down and putting that up. Yes, that's right. Quebec. There we go. Commander Quebec. Done. Right. So now the game's just got a little bit harder. Right. So. Let's begin identifying what we know. So we know it's submarines. Because that was what the MA... Sonar, Sierra 2 is classified as submerged submarine. Juliet. A firm. Stop. Waste. <laughs> um, I think I, I'm probably I, I'm gonna get a knock at the door tomorrow. Like it's gonna be like the police. They're gonna open the door with a big red, the big red key, thinking I'm some kind of money launderer. Can can you launder money through Twitch? Asking the big questions. Make it. We're gonna we're gonna need a new bell. <laughs> the bells the bells tired. The metal's broken. It can't ring anymore. Game volume is a little bit too quiet. A firm. Let me turn it up. Let's see. It's uh, again. This is really a test stream to see. Get it. Um, another. Thank you, Mixie. Um, right. Okay. So uh, we're actually. Oh, we're in the contacts baffles. Ding, 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 ding. We're in the baffles of the Juliet. What about Sierra 1? What is Sierra 1? 77% or 2.2... 2.7 thousand yards. Wreck, Wreck of the Psy needs his name said. Wreck of the Psy. Is that a League of Legends reference? Keep Scratch his chin. You filthy animal. You'll get two more chairs by the end of the day at this rate. <laughs> yes, I can have a chair for each leg. And then have my computer lowered in front of me like some kind of Borg, Star Trek style. Sierra anyway, one is classified as merchant. I you see these. I, I haven't even had to do anything. So verify our range to target hundred bits only. God. Okay, so there only looks to be a single hostile contact of which I am in the baffles of the target. Have the last of my bits, fool. <laughs> Who's the fool? Who is the fool among us here? Oh, yeah. Dale. Dale's the fool, because he subbed. Oh, God. Okay. Anyway. Concent concentrate. Can't concentrate. I'm trying to stream here. I'm trying to stream. Did you start? I'm trying to, trying to, like, I'm trying to focus on the game. Oh, well, fuck it. Well, mm -hmm. Okay. Moving on. Um, we're gonna fight. Okay, we're gonna fight. We're actually in a perfect position here. So, um, we're gonna go. We're gonna continue on our course of right to left. Uh, but we're now gonna fire on the uh, Juliet, as it's the only hostile contact we can see, and it's fully identified and moving away from us. Stop. All of the people that are. Do I, I don't want the people who are donating one bits as well to feel missed out. But thank you very much. <laughs> Eki, pretty much. Like, I, I'm not I'm not here for cash. Do you know what I mean? I'm sitting here. All of, I'm only here to... Like, the one thing I wanted to do tonight, I wanted to sit down, because at some point in the week, I'm doing a... At some point, I'm doing, like, a, a like an eight or nine hours cold waters stream. And I wanted to brush up on my cold waters. And I'm not getting to do that. It, the stream is oh, obstructing yeah. this ridiculous... Thank you very much, Gordon. Um, it's obstru it's you're, you're damaging my my immersion, my gameplay. It's it's all going wrong. Anyway, right, we're gonna fire on the fuck it. We're gonna fire. 
Um, we're going to fire from tubes three and four, or well, just oh, three. Oh, yeah. As they're on the right hand side of the submarine, I believe, and the right hand side is what is facing the target here. So, firing point procedures, bearing two, two, three, range to enable Keep 3,000. Fuck ZF, you can afford your own clan now. What would we call our clan? Q's Bex. I don't. Ugh, that would, ugh, ugh, sorry, that was terrible. Uh, anyway, all oh, the targets turning. Stand by. We're going to send this away. So firing point procedures bearing two two four. Don't look at it. Range three thousand four hundred yards. Ship ready. Tube ready. Fire tube three. Shoot tube three. Aye, right, sir. Weapon has cleared the tube and is running normally. Oh yeah. We're now going to wait for counter fire from the Juliet, and we're going to attempt to evade. Helm, bring us. Right bearing two two five. Come right to two two five. Helm I. Who was that fellow that subbed then? I I missed him. I did miss you, sir. Hex, thank you very much, Hex. You've Hex Nova is the clan name. I like it. Okay, so the, the weapon is away. The Juliet is going to fire a spread of weapons at us, but we're so close to him that there's basically no point in trying to evade in a traditional sense by going left and right. Now. At this moment, the torpedo is not active. It is moving to this... <laughs> narwhals. Narwhals, narwhals, indeed. <sighs> okay, um, right, so yes, this torpedo... There ain't no brakes on the donation train. There ain't no... No brakes, there's no platform big enough. I, I'm gonna get a concerned email from PayPal tomorrow. Concern. I've got my hands to. There we go. From Sierra One. Right. Activate Con the homing warhead. Contact bearing one seven. All ahead, flank. Make turns for two. Con sonar. We are cavitating. He's screening us with active sonar. Con helm. Steady course. Set the weapon to active home. Here we go. Another hundred bits. I thought you said that was the last of your bits, you motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, that was the last. That was all of them. You didn't have any more to give. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Fire control, weapon acquired. Aye, okay. We are now going to attempt to get by the target's torpedoes by just scooting on through. Now, the target's torpedoes are likely going to be at 100 feet depth, so we're going to dive. Dive. Make depth 200 feet. Make depth 200 feet. Dive by. <laughs> there you go, King Q. Yes! Disciples, yeah, it's all part of the, uh, it's all part of a tax ploy by King Q. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing two, two, two. Steer the weapon on target. Go. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. Fire control lost the wire. Oh no, that is bad. Make turns for zero. Nine. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Con, dive we just lost the two, wire. Zero, zero feet, dive by. Why aren't you searching? You aren't. This is concerning. Whoa! Sierra 3! Hello! Oh my god, okay. Things just got interesting. Reload MOSS in tube 3. There's a third Sierra. Holy fuck. Okay, helm, change course. Bring us right bearing Come 162. Two. 162. Helm, I. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Gas Juliet. I'm working on it. Two, one, one. This torpedo is totally dud. I don't know what's happened to it. We're getting pinged very loudly from the Juliet. Are we in detection range of the Juliet? Yes, we are. Okay, the Juliet can detect us. They, oh my god, they've just steered the weapons onto us. We are fucked. I want to be I'm sorry. Included. See, this is what happened. <laughs> We're so dead. We are so dead. Right, fire spread. Fire tubes one, snapshot. Fire tube two, snapshot. All ahead flank. We are cavitating. Point the weapons. Take us deep, please. Dive. Dive. Three zero zero feet. Depth three zero zero feet. Dive by. Three five zero feet, please. Dive. Amend. Depth three five zero feet. Dive by. Take us down. Con sonar lost. Con 
contact. Sierra three. Last bearing one seven one. What is, get, what is going on? What what are they put on helm. putting chemicals in the water? <laughs> you are gay frogs. They detected the bits. Yes, I'm surprised. Fire control. We've lost the water. I'm not surprised they detected the bits at this rate, to Gun. be honest. Fire control. We've con sonar. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Bearing one seven zero. Just didn't get out of the way of that. In right, fire MOSS on the bearing of the Juliet. Fire tube three. Shoot tube three. Aye, sir. Reload tubes oh, one and two in yeah. Mark 48. Reload tube three. Lord Bay Mountain, thank you very much, Monfrey. Oh, no, they're manually steering. Oh, there's nothing I can do here. Full rise on the planes, 30 degrees, right rudder. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing two, two, two. Passing 300 feet. This is not going to work. Passing 200 feet. Keep the change, you filthy animal. I am gay Con frogs. Sonar, lost <laughs> flooding in the engine room. Flooding the engine. Okay, Con flooding. Sonar, oh my god, look at the size of the fucking hole. Pumps. Passing 200 feet. Damage control parties. Lead to the reactor space. Laying to the reactor space. That's the first time I've ever been hit by a fucking submarine and not actually died in the first shot. That is a substantial Con hole. Maneuvering. Are you sure you can control the flooding? <laughs> you sure? I'm not sure. Con sonar. Torpedo in the water. Repulsion's damaged. I'm stuck at ten knots. Con sonar, noise bearing two, one, seven. This is not. This has not gone well. In fact, just put some cardboard up. Are you sure? Are you sure? That's the size of a person, and that is the size of a hole. In the hole. <laughs> Incoming torpedo. Thirty degrees right rudder. Take us down, please. Dive. Full drop on the planes. The other server is up now. Thank on, you. And con sonar regained contact on. Passing three hundred feet. And bottom out. Thirty degrees raise. Con less than fifty feet below the keel. Full pressure. Positive pressure on ballast. <laughs> Can we get any closer? You could. S is that the enemy submarine? What is that? Oh my god, is that the jet right Con sonar, there? Noise maker bearing oh two, my two, god, four. it's right on top of us! Con, have been repaired. We're so dead! We are so dead. Con, so damage right. control parties. Fire the snapshot room. now. Shoot two, one. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure He's homing. right there. What the fuck? Dude. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, three. Last bearing, Sierra three's one, down. six. Three. Contact breaking up. Dude, he is right there. Feet. Get him. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two. Fuck Last me. Bearing, two. Jesus Five, Christ. Six. Contact breaking up. Where's that other ping? Passing 200 feet. 30 degrees right rudder. Take us away from Come this right death, Three, death zero, trap. Four. Helm I. I take us down. B50 feet. Make depth 350 feet. Dive I. Good grief. Are you sure this is okay? <laughs> Are you sure? I I'm not convinced. I'm really not convinced. That is an enormous hole. Oh, hole. yeah. Uh, Laker. Laker Doggo. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Mandus. Con Helm. Steady course. This is with the low visibility mod as well. Look how fucking close. That submarine is damage control party pumps repaired. 
Well, integrity is a mere 33%. You wouldn't want to go anywhere near your test depth. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Why do you Why have a... do you have a hole in your ship? Um, it's where the it's where the bits it's where the bits fell out. Did I get Sierra one? Con, I did. Sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing one seven six. Contact breaking up. Yeah. Lateral damage. Fishing trawler destroyed. A fucking Mark forty eight torpedo. Do you have any idea what that would do to a fishing boat? It would. Uh, ironically, it would peel it back like a sardine tin. Um, yeah, that is fucking. That would absolutely ruin a fishing boat. Selfie. There we go. It fission mailed. <laughs> the hole with more bits. No. Vissy as well. Thank you very much, um, and and to everybody else who's like uh, it doesn't pop up, but if you've just been dropping one bit here and there, thank you very much. You're not forgotten. <laughs> Jesus. Well, thanks anyway. I guess. <laughs> Hello, hasty cats. A Moby Dick simulator, yes, I suppose I am. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back to port and get repaired, regardless of what um, Com Sublint says. Who weighs the most? Yes, pack him into a torpedo tube, Neon. That's it. Fire him out of the starboard side. We've got we've got space in a uh, torpedo rack one or torpedo tube one, so. Load the fattest guy on board into it. If you can, you're going to need a, 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 a 17th century style cannon ram to, to load him in there. But that will take care of him. The Axeman. Question, why haven't you been kill, killing any... Why haven't you killed any whales yet? This is our first mission. It's taken 50 minutes to get through our first mission. And what do we get for it? A massive fucking... I was, I was so distracted by what was going on that we actually... Um, damn near got ourselves killed. I don't know how we didn't sink. I'll be perfectly honest. Like this is prime, but this is prime sink territory. Like, look at it. Look at it. It's huge. It's ridiculous. How? How? That? That is the door. That is the door. That is the size of a person. Look at the size of the hole. <laughs> it's like it's the size of a. Look at the size of a house. What the fuck? Excellent. I love it. Because we love UQ. Ah, oh, Dempsey. Or Des, Des, Dempsey? What game is that from? Sorry, Desmi. It is just a scratch. Doors and subs are smaller. Yes, I appreciate that. But that is still reasonably reasonable to scale. Reasonably reasonable to scale. Can't leave combat. Still got weapons nearby. Because they're Mark 48, more than likely. It's gonna take them a while. An hour. That's a set 80, I think. There's my MOSS. Near the torpedoes? No, just this set 80 left. 200 bits. Rename the sub to the Black Knight. Was was the sorry. Rename. Okay. Rename the sub to the Black Knight. I don't think I can. There's only one narwhal friend. You can't rename the narwhal. How dare you? What a what a suggestion. <laughs> There's only one narwhal. So at the moment, if I move the, control parties. Lead in the reactor space. We tried to if we moved that, would that cause flooding elsewhere? Damage control parties. Later the control room. Later the control room. Doesn't seem to be causing any flooding. Damage control parties. Another 100 bits. Excuses, excuses. 50 minutes and no dead whales. You're losing your touch. I know. I know. I'm losing my touch. You spend a week away from streaming and you don't recognise the place when you get back. It's insane. <laughs> Look at it. It's huge. Thanks for the compliments. Ugh. What a day. What a day. 
massaging my forehead. <sighs> okay. Focus. I guess the paint, yeah, the paint is keeping the water out. You're right. But what's the thing to speed up time? It's F9. Death is doing a snaking, not a U. Set 80 is doing a snaking search. The U set torpedo is the dangerous one. Um, I guess I, I, I guess I am for t this month, John. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Ready the chambers. Ready the chambers, incoming whale. Right. I, I don't actually know. I don't actually know how many bits were dropped this evening. Like, I don't actually know. I don't think it's quite a grand. <laughs> so, sorry. I don't. In fact, I don't actually think it's anywhere near a grand. It's obviously a couple of hundred quid, but I don't know how much. I don't know. I'd rather not. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, there we go, tap out. Leave two targets sunk. It was a Tango class hiding. We need to RTB. After action. Uh, fine work in dealing with those boats, Commander. Your contribution to the war effort will make transit for our convoys a lot safer. And in the event that the economy collapses, that our submarine will bail you out. Because I know a guy called Luke. And he somehow has access to the Federal Reserve. Um, anyway, uh, uh, mm, await additional orders. We need to double back to base. Uh, but let's read the newspaper clipping for the day. 29th of November, 1984. Sub-killers. Incidents involving attacks on transatlantic convoys by hostile submarines in and around the North Sea have rapidly diminished. An anonymous spokesperson suggested increased NATO submarine operations in the area are a contributing factor. However, the Pentagon has refrained to comment on submarine operations. Without the threat of attack from submarines, transatlantic convoy crossings are becoming more efficient and suffering fewer casualties. If this improved influx of supplies and war materials can be sustained, NATO forces will be in a position to take the fight all of the way back to the Iron Curtain. Lovely. CAD, computer aided design. Did I say that? Did I miss the Daily Fisherman slaughter? Yes, yes you did. There we go. Tactical situation. Return to Holy, Holy Lock immediately for repairs and replenishment. There we go. Good. So he gave us a sen he gave us sensible tasking, at the very least. Cool. There we go. Swing it in. Right. Patrol outcome. Your ship slides into the DMs. You look at the frantic activity on the docks. You ponder upon the outcome of your patrol. The good sides and the bad. What will it be like next time? Yo, cool. So recon overflight shows a large force. I'm not even repaired yet, thanks. Um, a large enemy force of landing ships and surface combatants preparing for bleh, to sail within three days. I can't read. Uh, NAVOPs believe they will attempt to conduct an amphibious landing at Trondheim, Norway. Bad weather prevents airstrikes. NAVOPs is depending on you to intercept. Gotta repair first. Denmark defeated. The Warsaw Pact forces, broken English, now in, are now in total control of Denmark. After a massive, after massive and brutal assaults, the aggressors are demanding a unilateral ceasefire and immediate handover of power by the political leadership of the country. NATO and Warsaw, Warsaw Pact forces seem to be evenly matched. Both sides are making frantic efforts to gain the initiative. Control of the Atlantic is still an even contest between Soviet and NATO fleets. God, look how much time we're wasting in port for repairs. <gasps> so, so dang. Right. And we might as well load up what we've fired. So, I cast off. Oh, the fucking landing force is already at Trondheim. It. We're not going to be able to stop it. Discouraged to hear you failed to intercept the enemy landing force. Be more aggressive. New orders. Yep. Couldn't stop it, though, because we took 46 hours to repair the house-sized hole. 
Red Army in Norway. A successful amphibious assault has been made on Trondheim, Norway, by Soviet forces, opening yet another front as enemies continue to gain ground. Immediate questions have been raised as to what should have been done to protect the coastal region of Norway from sea-based assault. Sending another submarine. Not just sending me. The loss of Trondheim, Norway comes as a massive blow to NATO as it continues to lose the initiative on multiple fronts. One front. This is a perfect example of the media blowing things out of proportion. Whether an attempt to recapture Trondheim will be initiated has not been commented on by either NATO or the Pentagon. Interesting. Okay. Well, we've got something else to do then. Satellite Recon has revealed an enemy raider group transiting at high speed towards the northern Norwegian coast. We believe a small unrep force, um, which I believe stands for something replenishment, um, is, uh, sorry, is operating in this area. You're ordered to interdict this group and sink any replenishment ships in the area. You may also get a chance at the enemy warships this group intends to support, but the tenders and tankers are the mission target. Primary objective, locate and sink enemy replenishment tankers and tenders, and locate and sink enemy nearby, any nearby warships if possible. So we're going to the North Norwegian coast. Continue on course. Oh, Norwegian Sea, ASW patrol. So the North Norwegian... Where's this unwrap force? It's going to be following the coastline. It won't go into the barren sea. It's going to come around here. Patrol speed, 10 knots. It's intercepts. It is. Intercept that. Okay, Captain, we have a new sonar contact bearing 074. Designate Sierra 1. This might not be our target. XO reports depth is 600 feet, heading 328. Speed is 20 knots. Conditions are clear with a very weak surface duct or thermal layer and weak surface duct at 234. All hands to battle stations. Rig ship for silent running. Total water depth, please dive. Total is 645. No tube in tube 1. Con Sorry, no missile. missile. Torpedo. Zero, six, tube one, 1 is empty. Designated Sierra 1. Okay, Sierra Con 1. Sonar new contact bearing. Sierra Zero, 2. Four, two. Designated Sierra 2. Can't hear any active sonar, so they're not looking for Con us. Sonar new contact Sierra bearing. 3 Zero, could be the eight, fleet. One. Designated Sierra 3. Let's check surface contact. Warships primarily. Con, sonar, new contact this looks bearing. like the force Three, that we're five, after. Seven, designated Sierra, four. Dubna. That's an Con oil tanker, sonar, isn't it? Sierra, one, is classified as merchant. Dubna oil tanker, 11,000 tons of merchant freight. That is a, a good haul. Nothing else. Let's check warships. Active sonar. Acted us reasonably distant. Another merchant ship of some. Or is it, is it biologic? It is. It's a blue whale. No, chat. No, we're not killing the whale. Not this time. Con, sonar, Sierra, we'll three, probably end up killing the whale. As biologic. Just, just as collateral damage, more than likely. Okay, let's check for warships. Some kind of merchant signature. Merchant MS. Con sonar Sierra 4 is classified as merchant. Does come having a merchant ship in the air. Oh yeah. Looks like a Grisha 3. Con sonar Sierra 2 is classified as escort. Got a Grisha, a Dubna, a Blue Whale, merchant. The Dubna's the target, the Grisha's the escort ship. Sierra 4 is traveling the opposite direction to the fleet, so it is not part of this setup. Um, Desmi, Desmi Dutch, thank you very much. Here, one sub. But it's clearly a Soviet escort. It could well be. Right. Let's have a look. So, we're going to continue on this course. 
that is currently an intercept force. Holding at 600 feet is reasonable depth here. They're not actively screening us on active sonar, so let's reload tube one with a Mark 48 torpedo. Let's see how this goes. We'll get motion analysis solution 49% on the Dubna, 57% on the Grisha. Target is making eight knots. We're making five. Range to target is 60. It's closer to 70,000 yards. Quite a distance. We're going to close the target. Helm, come right, bearing zero, one, zero. Come right to zero, one, zero. Helm, I. I'm going to try and close the distance a little bit faster without speeding up. Medium frequency active sonar from the Grisha is only at minus four detectability, despite being at nearly 17,000. That means if he goes active, he will see us. Dangerous, dangerous game. the most evil of escorts. <laughs> I see four enemy targets. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> What's wrong with you? What? Why, why does chat want to kill civilians? And... and... whales. Shoot the blue no. lard container. Christ. Do you know who we're going to have come after us? What's the name of that? I forget the name of the ship. It's it's like it was like a series on the Discovery Channel for a while. It's like a big black ship that goes around like heckling um like Japanese and Chinese whaling ships. What's the name of it? It's like full of hippies and and pro whale activists. What's you the name of that change, ship? You filthy animal. I call I a vote. I call for a vote. All in favor of gassing the whale say gas. You heard the man. The Sea Shepherd, I think that's it. Gas. Gas. Ga bits and a gas. Gas. Gas, gas. Uh, for initial D would be proud. The Sea Shepherd, yes, the Sea Shepherd. Wait. If you kill too many whales, there should be like an Easter egg. The Sea Shepherd should come, should, should like come in at sort of like thirty-five knots and start depth charging you. Save the whales from themselves. Christ. Six hundred thousand dollars it costs to make a Mark Forty-Eight, and we're going to spend them on chum. Cool. Right, target solution is getting there. Grish is actually turning away, which is encouraging. The Dubner, however, is not. Dubner is making 10 knots, 9,800 yards to target. Solution is still 49%. Okay, we're going to do something slightly controversial. Dive, bring us up to periscope depth, 4-5 four, feet. Four, feet. Take us up. We're going to spot the target on periscope. Trying to screen us with rise up from the depths money well spent wouldn't you agree I don't know what I haven't spent any money <laughs> people have tonight that's all thank you very much for the 20 bits there I was always putting rocket mines on cows in just cause 3 so killing a few whales is nothing Rocket mines. Rocket mines on cows. Why not? Can't argue. The target solution of the... Uh, 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 Try to fall asleep. Uh, the target solution of the Grisha is now 92%. We can now see the ship. Is it in fact a Grisha? Yes, Grisha 3. A very small, very fast, reasonably well-equipped patrol boat. Capable of firing torpedoes. It has an RBU 6000 system. And... A deck gun. Very nasty ship. Very fast ship as well. It's got three screws. The middle one isn't being used at the moment, but it can be if it's trying to haul ass. Very nasty ship, this. If you're caught on the wrong side of it. But I think we'll be okay. Uh, 
Okay, still coming up. Total water depth. Oh, sorry, current water depth. Our current depth, 65 feet. Target is not able to detect us on medium frequency active sonar. Okay, we are now shallow enough to raise the periscope. Current target to the uh, bearing, sorry, Dubna, is estimated at 056 up periscope. Up scope. Quite beautiful, actually. Sorry, paying attention. Detection threshold. See the Grisha. Mark the Dubna. Dubna spotted. Mark. Down scope. Down scope. So, total range to the Dubna is 11,000 yards. Target is making 10 knots. Dubna is turning away. We're going to send a torpedo down the telephone line and get him hit. So, firing point procedures. Bearing 0, 4, 3. Range to enable 9,300 yards. Ship ready, four, tube five, ready, eight, fire nine, tube five. 3. Gun, fire control. We've lost the wire. Lost the wire. I knew we were going to lose the wire. I had a hunch then. I had something in the back of my mind went, you would lose a wire. And, and, it, and it broke. And it broke. And and I bet you what? I, I bet you a sausage. This is going to miss. Because he's going to turn in and it's going to activate past him. And I don't have a crystal ball, but I mean, if anyone's hiring a genie, I'll... You know what I mean? Anyone need a psychic? I... I charge modest fees of, like, 3,000 bits. Billy, hello, Bill, Billy, I wrong you called the Billy when it, your name is, in fact, Bill Nye. The username is even better than that I called out. Best way to extract ambergris is with a Mark 48. Bill Nye, the Jewish spy, I'd like to apologise on behalf of my chat. They've gone a bit barbaric. They always do this when I'm playing cold waters. I don't know what's wrong with them. I've, I've, I've given up asking. Cool. You'll bet I'll bet a sausage. I will. I can I can afford to lose a sausage. Not mine, but a sausage. That can, that can have any owner at that point. Looks like the Grisha is actually beginning to turn. The Grisha might have detected the launch transients. The Grisha didn't seem to fire on me. So it's difficult to say. Rig ship for ultra quiet. We're going to rig ship for silent. Don't fall asleep. Um, we're going to rig ship for silent running and see where it gets. Keep the change, you filthy animal. They say never meet your heroes. I'd say never Google Q's pick. Thanks for the stream, Joe. Many laughs, pal. Never Google Q's pick. I'm hurt. I am. Emotionally. That devastated me, right? I'm going to pretend that it didn't... But it, that, I'm on the brink of tears. That's... Oh, man. Savage roast. The, you know what? The only, the only, the only roast I've had worse than that was from my little brother of all people. And I know it's a cardinal sin to be roasted by your little brother. I like, I like, there's just, there's a, like a, you have to just a annihilate him in the event of being roasted by your younger brother. And yet, I think I was. Well, what did he say? Uh, I think I, I can't even, I can't even remember. The, it was, I say it was years ago. It was like last week. He said, "What did he say?" He said. Something along the lines of, go and play with your extra chromosome, or something like that. I, I was like, I, there's no coming back from that. I, I, he shut me down. I, I went and sat in the rain for, for an hour, like just to think about what it, it just ruined me. Ruined me. Like, honestly, my parents couldn't even look at me after that. They were like, Joe, you're not the son we thought. You got roasted, son. And that's it. You're you out of the family. Change, you filthy animal. Cry on my shoulders, my sweetheart. Uh, honestly, I could. So yeah, I was like, "Ouch!" Like, really funny. And like, but it's okay because, like, I think I can't even remember. I think I threw a shoe at him. <laughs> I, I think I, I think I, uh, I can see they've fired. Yes, in fact, you, you raise a very good point because we are at four or five feet. Um, dive, take us down. In fact, actually, just flood ballast. Um, negative pressure, 30 degrees. Negative 5 degrees on the plane. Take us down. Yeah, I think I threw a shoe at him, if I remember. And it was a it was a heavy shoe. It was like a walking boot, and it was silent. It glided through the air and made no sound. And it was wham! Made contact right in the small of his stomach. 
and uh, he was down. It was like bowling pins and skittles. Got my revenge. He was gone. Perfect. Grisha is coming closer. A firm. He's pointing us at this. He is literally pointing us. I'm going to wait for him to close a little bit closer before I fire there. I'm going to wait for him to get to 6,000 yards so that I can just dump. In fact, no, I'm not actually, because then I'll be in range of his RBU system. Can he detect us? No, he can't detect us yet. He's just fired a retali retaliatory spread. Are you daydreaming now, Quebec? Um, I th I think every second my eyes are awake, I'm daydreaming. It's how I get through the day. That's why it's called daydreaming. Passing what the fuck is this story? Mm. <laughs> Threw a shoe at him, and that was it. Now we're married. <laughs> right. Oh, that weapon's enabled quite early, actually. That is slightly concerning. Still going down. Dive. Make depth 550 five, feet. Make depth 550 five, feet. Dive by. Okay, we're now going to fire at the Grisha. Firing point procedures. Bearings 0, zero 2. Range 1.3 kilo yards. 1,300. One Sounds better. 1,200 yards even. Ship ready. Two ready. Fire tube 1. Shoot tube 1. Aye, sir. Set to shallow search. Set the weapon to homing. Bring it up to surface level. Go. Another 100 bits there from our first place of the week, Clone Tool. The Grisha is going to get the whale before you do. You can bugger off. I'm going to get the whale. Ain't nobody escaped. For some reason, the enemy torpedoes don't seem to track, um, like, what would or I would consider hostile targets. Like, even though this is pretty much going to sail right into that whale's, like, search cone, if you like, it's still probably not going to hit him. I mean, look at this. This torpedo should be detecting the Grisha. It's literally pointing right at it, but it just doesn't. I don't know why. There's no way that he's kept the wire. He's going faster than the damn thing. He's paying it out like fishing line. Oh, he's detected the torpedo. He's making a sharp right turn. This is the benefit of the Grisha. Look at that. There are cars that can't turn that well. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing. That, that, is a, that is a deja vu moment right there. It's insane. So I can move out of the crazy house. It's the funny farm. They, you can't leave. Weapon acquired. <laughs> Weapon acquired. Okay, target is still searching. Five five zero feet. Where's our torpedo exactly? Lean into your monitors. Folks, where's the torpedo? Con, fire control, weapon, countermeasure, homing. He's gone. Not the boat you want to be on. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Please, mate. Please, mate. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. He outmaneuvered it. It was unable to turn as fast as he was. He hasn't even activated the third screw. On his, uh, on his boat, he's trying to keep maneuverability up. Oh, target's coming in again. Just missed him. Oh, he's playing a dangerous game. Oceanic drift. Continental drift. No, that's something else, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's coming in again. Ah. This target tracking the Dubna? No, it's still in God, staking fire search. Control, weapon, countermeasure, homing. We'll fire missiles at the Dubna. Look at him go! Look at this bastard! Thought I heard a launch transit. Oh my god, what? Oh, is that a torpedo explosion? Okay. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Too bad. What the fuck is going on? Con sonar, noisemaker, barrel, oh. zero, zero. Did it get six. confused by the noisemaker? Looks like it. Con, oh. Fire control, weapon acquired. oh, you fucked it up. Come on. Come on. Oh, why? 
It will eventually get it. Surely. Surely he's not going to give this torpedo the runaround for nine minutes. Surely not. Imagine being on that boat. Yes, you could crush a pear with the, with the, with the puckered butthole <laughs> of the captain right now. Oh. 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 Yes. Got you, you motherfucker. I love how like quickly this ship like goes underwater. It just like coasts to a stop. But look at that. Stern's already starting to go under. You wouldn't even have time to deploy a lifeboat. In fact, actually, we, we fucked up the part where all the lifeboats are. So yes, quite literally, they would not be able to deploy a lifeboat. Right. Okay. So, the Dubnut is yep the one that got away bring us back up to periscope depth please dive bring us up to four five feet reload a ugm in tube one and tube three these are launch uh, ship launched or torpedo launched uh, missiles the puck and butthole of the captain yes we were reading a fanfic <laughs> yes. No, sorry. <laughs> how fast how fast was that Grisha going? About thirty-eight knots? How fast is it going under? About thirty-eight knots? <laughs> Gone. Look at the size of that look at that. It's going down to the to the bottom of the sea. Oh, it's already at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> oh it's already at the bottom of the sea, folks. There we go, it's turning over. Like a pen falling over. And anticlimactic pomp. A little bit of dust kicked up. There we go. Some diving crew in in 70 years can recover this wreck and write a memo about it. Brilliant. That's your contribution to the war effort, friend. Right. Call coming up. Room, tube one ready. Which which sub is Q commanding? A narwhal class um, submarine. I was going to say something, narwhal class, something, something to make myself sound all like, uh, like I know what the fuck I'm doing. No, no, none of that. Don't have a clue. Um, yeah, we're coming up to uh, periscope depth now to uh, visually ID the Dubner, and then we are going to uh, fire a couple of UGM ship launched, submarine launched torpedoes missiles or I mean just uh, I'm, I'm basically just saying any word that pops into my head grapefruit you know like I could I'd murder a grapefruit even though it is in fact quarter past ten at night I'm like just about I'm using uh, Tom and Jerry physics to keep my eyes open a couple of cocktail sticks I'm absolutely exhausted and people asking inane questions on the high street about stuff like, oh, it's it's the worst thing about sorry off we go again. The worst thing about customer service is pretending to be nice to people. Like, some people I empathise with, and other people I just on, don't room, care. Two, three, like, but you have to pretend like you give a shit. <laughs> like, please, no. <laughs> right, it's Dubner. Dub, dub. Dive, Rubber Dub Dubner. Five, there it is. Tucking tail and running. There it is. Rubber Dub Dubner. Oh, we just missed it as well. Okay, let's fire on the rubber dub dubner. Here we go. So, firing point procedures. Bearing 059, range to enable 13,900 yards. Ship ready, tube ready, fire tube 3. Shoot tube 3. Aye, sir. Go torpedo or missile away. Telesales. Oh, don't. Telesales. Oh, clone. What the hell? Oh. Remember, the customer is never right. You just have to make them think they are. Yes. That torpedo is flying. Yes, this is an air torpedo. Water is too viscous, so you just remove the water and, and put it in the air. What if the blue whale is a painted Russian sub? Do ships in this game have phalanx capabilities? Yes, but this cargo ship does not. 
This cargo ship is very much going to taste the wrath of the UGM and there's not much you can do about it. Is it an oiler? I think it's an oiler. Pretty sure it's an oiler. Oh no, there we go. Nice big fire. I'm sure that's an oiler. Looks like it could be an oiler. Maybe it's no. It's a bit short for an oiler, isn't it? Maybe it's just a large cargo ship. Got those large cargo bins. Hard to say. Ship slowing down to five knots. I think eventually this thing would sink. We've jammed the rear prop. I got this, and it's fucking leaking something. Whatever that is. There's no fuel being dumped into the ocean, no oil. He's listing not really at all. That's a bit that's a hell of a hole it's managed to like just shrug off there. I think we're gonna have to fire another one. Okay. Firing point procedures. Bearing Ooh, one four sorry, ugh, bearing zero six zero. Range to enable one thousand four what fourteen thousand eight hundred yards. Ship ready, two ready, fire two one. Shoot two one, aye sir. There we go. Another missile's going out. Anybody on board the Dubna now has the opportunity to get to a fucking lifeboat. But except oh, you're these guys and you yeah. really like smoke inhalation. Carl! Carl, thank you very much, mate. Carl blowed. Who did he blow? Who did Carl blow? In past tense. 100 bits says it's not sinking. I think it is sinking. Very slowly. I mean, if we had a few days... <laughs> We could probably let it sink. Let's see if we can see the the what's it coming in. How far away is it? Getting there. It's gonna come from the back. Again for targets. It's gonna be here any second. Oh, fuck my god. <laughs> I'm not I'm not a puss. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now for the whale. <laughs> right. There we go. Oh, fucking hell. Look how quickly it sank as well. Holy shit. Right. And now for the moment that you fuckers have all been waiting for. Look how close he is. He's like... He's right on top of us. Blue. A blue. Oh, actually, we're going to pull up... We're going to pull up next to this one. Helm, Helm bring us right. right. Zero, four, four. Helm, I... We're going to pull up next to this one. Uh, drop, sonar. drop scope. 100 bits. Thank you very much. Cheers, man. Play the police. Oh, God. What, what the fuck? What's the fucking song called? This one. Right, okay. Helm, steady course. Come left to zero, four, one. Helm, I. Looks safe. Con, helm, steady course. Cool. Right, so what we need to do, where's the whale? I would wager... Shut up. He's at about 400 feet, so let's dive. Hang on. There we go. We got our own music. We'll make our own entertainment. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, so we're on an intercept course. I reckon it is about 400 feet. This is going to work. Contra 
What the hell was that? A massive scraping sound. What the fuck? Oh, is that the Grisha? We're not far from the Grisha, are we? Can't see. Oh, there's there's the Grisha. That mass in the darkness. As for license and insurance, yes. <laughs> Target doesn't no, no, seem. To... No longer cavitating. Looks like he's a little bit shallower. Let's. He's gone up. Let's try 100 feet. You're not evading us, motherfucker. We're coming up for you. 30 degrees ballast, 10 degrees on the planes. Let's go. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Con maneuvering, making turns for two, five, not. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to come to the right of the target and we're going to slot in behind him. He's out there. 150 feet, take us down a little bit. You don't think the whale's wearing his seatbelt? Nuke the civilian ship afterwards with the lol face. Actual, like, war criminal. <laughs> there he is. Target's off the, the port bow somewhere. There he is. Target, target sighted. <laughs> Come left to zero, zero. He's a little bit higher. Bring us up one one zero or one zero zero. Bring us down twenty knots. There he is. There's the target. Yes, you are seeing that right. He is actually that small. He's like a slug. He's a the turd of the ocean. For some reason, I don't know why, the devs never thought that anyone would actually go near a blue whale. So they never modelled it in like its full size. It is actually about the size of like a... Just just nothing. It's, it's smaller than a boat. Right, we're going we're gonna to try and pit manoeuvre the whale. Yes. Well, I didn't do very much, did it? <laughs> Lovely. Well, I'm surprised we even hit that at all, to be honest. I'm terrible at driving. Right, that's it. Contact is in the baffles. Let's get him back on sonar. 30 degrees left rudder. We're going to get ready to fire. Active homing. Get ready. Swing us around. He's, re he's resisting arrest. I will jam the tube, you're right. I need to slow down. Target somewhere out in front. Target Con spotted. Help. All back emergency. Make turn zero. Fire tube one. Con sonar, no longer navigating. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con maneuvering, making turn four, five. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> right, cut the music. Fucking. You're terrible people, but I did it anyway. <laughs> oh shit. Well, fuck it. That's, that, that's enough cold waters for one night. Oh god. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, I don't know why. I can understand why you got. I do, I do make killing the whales fun. I, I have a certain knack. Killing the whales. Oh, God. Well. <laughs> maybe we were just in a super, super duper submarine. And maybe the whale was actual size. Hmm. Yes. I wonder. 911 is ringing. Whale Hitler. <laughs> Whitler.
That's sharp as a tack. Cool. What a skill, I know. Brilliant. Right then, so... That is about it from yourself. You get to see this freeze frame of cold waters now. I'm going to save that there. We'll leave combat. Loads of equipment. Good to hear. With That was the right fleet. Lovely. May even make some gains now, which is nice. So we'll just continue that and then we'll save. And then that is that. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little snippet of cold waters there. And um, yes, feel free to drop by another time. As I say, at some point in the next few days, TM, few days trademark, um, I'm going to be uh, doing a, like a long, just trying to complete it all. In like, not, maybe not in a single sitting, but really make some effort to f actually finish the damn campaign. Because I think like, if you try and play this game properly and try and complete it, like it, it's, a f it's, a, it's an affair that could take a long time. So um, we'll see how we get on with that. Um, in any case, that is it from myself. I hope, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll uh, catch you next time. I think I'm going to pass you on to one of my co associates. Uh, which would probably be um, it's playing Yuki scrolls dice is playing Far Cry, APL Fish is playing FIFA 18 quality. Right, um, let's pass you on to Digby who is playing LA. So yeah, thank you very much. But a few days is too long. <laughs> right, cool. All right, I'll uh, I'll catch you all um next time. When we be doing Divinity next show you the crazy arrow build and it is better than the last build i promise i'm gonna go and sleep now i've uh, i've earned to i've earned a nap goes on to a rest i'll uh, i'll see you all at some point either tomorrow or the day after yes thank you i'll catch you then